Aquara. Family, friends, and the community of Surfside gathered for a benefit concert last night to remember the 97 victims killed in the building collapse. It's been more than a month since that building came down in the middle of the night. The concert was a way for many to pay their final respects to the victims. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates reports. We are here because oh, it's too hard. We love those people. Juanita Sepulveda is among the hundreds of people who came together for a benefit concert honoring the Surfside victims and their family members. I just wanted to bring some, you know, some more, some peace and, and maybe a little joy and just a remembrance of what happened. Sabrina Alfonso is the music director and conductor of the South Florida Symphony. And she says the village of Ball Harbor and the symphony have been doing summer concerts. They canceled the last one because of the collapse. And on the 30th day anniversary of the incident, they brought the concerts back and moved it to Surfside. We put together some different music and we have some songs um, that hopefully will bring uh, some hope to the, to the folks that live around. And that's exactly what those in attendance says the music has done for them. We have to all come together after such a tragedy. And the community has really supported the people who have been involved. And this is part of it. The concert was sponsored by the village of Ball Harbor and included more than just music. The names of all the victims were also read. Lucia Guara. There was even a butterfly release. Emotional, it was empowering, it gave everybody, at least it gave me hope and the strength that I need and hopefully the strength that the community needs to help uh, start rebuilding our lives and moving forward. Community groups are just trying to find ways to show the people here that, you know, we're supporting them, we're with them, we care about what happened, and we hope we can bring you some sort of joy or peace um, with our music. Now the community and officials say this will not be the last event in honor of the victims and their family members. They say they'll continue to rally behind them. Bobeth Yates, CBS4 This Morning.